Your people will rebuild the ancient ruins and will raise up the age-old foundations. You will be called repairer of broken walls, restorer of streets with dwellings. Isaiah 58, 12, NIV. Welcome to Outreach Connection, focusing on topics and issues that reach our communities with the love and power of Jesus Christ. Welcome, my friends, to another exciting Outreach Connection, and I'm Dr. Pepper shaking the salt. It wasn't too long ago that I was here in Hannibal speaking at a Right to Life function, a big banquet, but earlier in the day, they asked me, I was going to speak at Notre Dame High School, and before that, there was a Pastors Alliance, and all of these wonderful men and women were there, and one stood out. He was funny. He was on fire. He was teasing me because at the time, we were going through a big World Series type ball game. And I'm from St. Louis, so you can't go against your own team. So the Cardinals were doing great, but we have here not only a man that loves the Lord, but he loves the, I can't say it, c c c Cubs. <laughs> Better than that, Pastor James Haley. <laughs> hey, praise God. Praise we picked on each other a lot. Yes, you came to the did. banquet that we night, did. too. We, we really did. Now, how big a Cubs fan are you? Well, uh, uh, when I uh, moved to Illinois to go to college, uh, mm. uh, I became a Cub fan. Yeah. I chose the Cubs over the White Sox because I was a National League uh, you young man. And, <laughs> and uh, since I'm from Memphis, our team was uh, my father's team, and I was uh, the Atlanta Braves oh. because of Hank Aaron. Oh, yeah. And, uh, Atlanta didn't have nothing to do with St. Louis. So, That's right. That's so, right. Know, we were always in odds <laughs> then. And, and when okay. I came to Illinois, You're Sins are forgiven. Yes, okay. <laughs> You're so much fun, and you've got your two granddaughters here with you today, too. And I asked them to come on camera, but they said no, they didn't want to. They're darling, age seven and nine. You are blessed. You have a wonderful family, a ministry, and you are reaching out this summer right here for something big. So, folks, get your pencils, get your paper out, because you want to write this down. Tell everybody what your church is and what you all are doing. Well, uh, uh, I'm a pastor. I pastor Bethel African Methodist Episcopal Church. Yes. Uh, here in Quincy, Illinois, uh -huh. and uh, that's uh, it's on the corner of 9th and Oak, 905 Oak Street, and uh, the Lord has given me a vision about uh, revivals way before now, and sometimes mm -hmm. we are uh, kind of slow on reacting. And so found I said, well, we're going to go ahead and, and, and do something. Yeah. And, and I realized that uh, when you think of a crusade, that's, that's a time of going out and getting and bringing in. And uh, this is our first step in that direction. Good. And so I, I started out to do something that was kind of off the wall and kind of a little ridiculous because, mm -hmm. you know, you, 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 you don't just do one. You just say, well, I'm going I'm to do three this summer. I like that. And so uh, I call it uh, a summer revival crusade. Uh, we look forward to uh, just sharing the word, uh, others coming in, uh, yeah. sharing the word. Uh, I have pastors that are uh, here in the city. So you invite uh, them to come I, in? I, I invite Good. them to come in. The We're world. showing it up on the screen, and, too. Um, uh, in June, we had uh, Pastor Jeffrey Allen Green, who was okay. the pastor of uh, Holy Trinity uh, Church in Macon, Macon. Missouri. Oh, Macon, but Missouri. He, yeah, he, but he lives here in Quincy, okay. but he started pastoring there. So he shared, and we had a but great turnout. But it was at my yeah, church. Yeah, yeah. It was at my church, and we had a great turnout. Good. And we had people to come up for prayer and, yeah. and had uh, uh, even... When you're doing something like that, people can get saved, sure. not even at the service. And uh -huh. I had a, I ministered to a couple of people that uh, during that time that needed to get saved. And Good. I thank God that even though it wasn't actually at the revival, it was right there during the revival oh, time. And, yeah. and God can, can He'd bring, open up a window. Yes, Good. he can bring those to you uh, that's not even in the midst of that setting, but right. but in the midst of all of his divine setting. You got it. Yeah. You got it. And that's so right. that was a blessing. And then yes. uh, just in, in July, we just finished it, uh, uh, um, the first part of July. July 1, 2, and 3, 
And that was kind of unique in itself because we understand that that's uh, right around the holiday. You were right before the 4th, and, yeah. And uh, so often we won't let uh, God work during the holiday. We, Why not? We, we, we will <laughs> take that uh, vacation and uh, or take the time out and say, oh, I'm not going to do nothing uh -huh. because it's the holiday. But even though the 4th of July is Independence Day, we never should think that we are independent of God. That's and right. we always should want to do something to glorify God mm -hmm. and even if it means the uh, uh, first, second, and third which right was July. The fourth. And it was uh, hot. And it was hot. And, uh, it was very hot uh, but you had a pretty good turnout. Yeah, it had yeah. a nice turnout. Good. Not what uh, in the spiritual realm that I was expecting. You know, You'd love you know, to just see you know, people the, hanging the out the more, windows. You, know, <laughs> you, you look for the multitude That's but right. God said uh, I'm in the few. Who preached this? Uh, this uh, was Reverend Brian Mito. He shared he? this. Uh, he's the pastor of Rock Church here in um, Quincy. Okay. And he and I have been praying for three years as oh. pastors. And uh, we pray at our different churches along with Pastor uh, Charles Turnbull. Good. We go different to one of our churches and pray every Wednesday mm. that we most possibly can. That's great. And uh, we just seeking God for the city. Yes. Because uh, we know that there is much more more than what uh, is being uh, offered as well as uh, being responded to yes. because the word goes out for a response. You got it. And so, and but you this, may not see the response. Amen. That's right. That's right. And that's why you have so to you know you, say, it, you're, you're impacting yes. people in a special way even if you don't see them come. That's right. Uh, just so you know that the theme of the revival is exalting Christ to impact the world. Oh, I love Hallelujah. that. You exalting know, Christ to impact, to impact the, world. the world. That's and great. And that's the thing that we have to remember yes. is that it's, it's uh, Christ that we have to exalt and lift up. It's not ourselves. That's right. It's not about us it's about him and, and remember that Jesus is the way as I shared in the scripture the way the truth and the life and that Jesus mm -hmm. is the answer for he the is. world today above him there's no other no other Jesus Where would we go? Is the way, you know. <laughs> and so uh, we're looking forward to August the 5th. You know, before 6th. you do that, I All had right. just opened to this scripture. This is pretty interesting before we yes. were even praying. And when you said, I didn't know that one of your revivals, one of your um, openings was a first, second, and third before the fourth, mm -hmm. but I just opened to. Galatians 5 that yes, says yes. it is for freedom that Christ has set us free mm -hmm. and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage or in yes. the NIV the yoke of slavery yes do not be in what are people bound to these days mm -hmm. what are some of the things you're seeing that people are just that's just Satan's using well uh, one of the things that we are getting bound to is just our own selfishness of mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's my way or the highway. That's right. And, and, and if you're not going my way or don't believe that you're right, you know, then I'll just take off and do whatever I want. And we do, do that. I've done and, that. And uh, yeah. that's, the, that's the greatest harm there mm -hmm. because uh, uh, we know that, that, that God wants us to come together uh, and, and uh, uh, be followers of him. And, and I'm just reminded, Paul said, follow me as I follow that's Christ. That's right. Can you say and, that? Yes, sir. Yes, Can I say that? Yes, follow yes, me. Yes, Keep your I eyes follow, on me as I follow, as I follow Christ. Christ. You know, I wouldn't want to you know, say that you know, to anybody, you know, would you? You know, you know and that's so the hardest hard. thing uh, because um, um, we have to let our light shine. That's right. And even in the midst of darkness, when your light is shining, darkness don't want it. Oh, good. And so uh, people don't want to uh, see or, or, or to feel that like that, that they're going to uh, uh, be revealed in such uh -huh. a way. And so we have to remind them that, that Jesus is our, is the way he's our hope. Yes. As the songwriter says, my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and his, know, righteousness. his righteousness. Yes. And so oh, we have to uh, uh, stand on that, you know, mm -hmm. he's the solid foundation on, yes. you know, on the, all other ground is sinking sand. Yes. And so um, when we look at uh, 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 how people respond is that they're missing and re the, 
the, the real message. They're not getting it because uh, we're being sidetracked exactly. by so many other things. You yes. know, uh, people talk about the economical situation, yes. but they talk about the unemployment. Mm -hmm. But they never tell you that even though they can tell you if it's 10 percent unemployment yeah. or 15 percent mm -hmm. unemployment, what about the 85 percent that is working? Yeah, what about, what about the 90 percent that yeah. is working? You have a right to thank God. Yes. Maybe you are part of the one, the 10 percent or mm -hmm. the 15 percent. But thank God for the 85 percent or the 90 percent mm -hmm. that, that that's able to work and make an income and, and to do things. And, and mm -hmm. we have to just pray that uh, doors will be open for us all and that that those who are able to supply a job mm -hmm. would not just get caught up in themselves and, and let me share the parable that Jesus said, yeah. the, the barns oh, yeah. we, we know people uh, uh, sometimes have it and they just build more barns, right. more barns Store more barns, Store it storing up. it up, Store for, it up. For, for, for themselves when they could share yeah, the goodness of God because it's the mm -hmm. goodness of God that blessed them, not their being That's good, right. it's That's not right. their being good it's his being good to them enough to be able to allow Allow them yes. to be able to uh, share uh, uh, what they have with others if they choose to. So, and we should as the body of Christ. Yes, yes. We are blessed to be a blessing. That's it. And he said, you know, whoever has this world's good, mm -hmm. when you see that your brother has need, don't just say, oh, well, goodbye, be warm, yes. be fed. Yes, yes, yes. So, but you know, um, um, you said that, and, and, and that was my prayer when I came into uh, serving God. And we uh, want to go back and hear this know, whole story. You know, right, Let's get right your quick. August in first, because yeah. we want to tell them about this coming up, August so nobody the can miss through this. The, seventh, uh, the fifth through fifth the seventh. Through the seventh okay. um, we'll be having it again. Each one of them is beginning on the first Sunday of the month. Okay, so it's See, Sunday, so, Monday, and yeah, Tuesday. Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Of August. And on that Sunday, uh, August the 5th, uh, Reverend Charles Tarnbolt, who is a pastor of the uh, Way of Hope Church here in the city, yeah. will be preaching, and, and uh, some of his members and others will be coming Good. over. And then on the 6th, uh, 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 Pastor Ken... Ken from Ken down here, that's Geisendorfer. Yes, we'll Geisendorfer, be, that's yeah, a good name. Yeah, <laughs> Geisendorfer, uh, the pastor of Open Arms Ministry, will yeah. be preaching that night. He's great. And then, I like to tell you, yeah. uh, my father, I, uh, love I him. call him Pop, yeah. uh, on that Tuesday night at 7 p.m., this mm -hmm. is all 7 p.m. nightly, uh, and that is uh, Evangelist Pastor Reverend Tom <laughs> Waters will be Woo. sharing that night. And uh, I just thank God the way that uh, I was able to meet with him and, yes. and share on his 80th birthday. And, Isn't that uh, great? His, and now it's six years later, and he and he's still climbing, and, still going and strong. I'm still going. And, you and are too. God, My parents are 87 and 89. Yes, yes. God gives us the wisdom of the ages. For those of you yes. out there, maybe that are watching, and you're thinking, "Well, I'm too old. I couldn't do this. I could." You can walk into a nursing home. Look around, go speak with somebody one-on-one -on -one and just encourage them, love them, tell them the good news of what Jesus has done. And I know that you, that's why you're feeling this um, almost like an unction to go into the community and draw the various people from, yeah. and you're, this is the good part that I love. Some of our churches today feel like, well, it's got to be my church. I've got to spend my time with my church. Or you might say, well, that church does this or this or this. Yeah. Fellow churches with godly Christians. Christian men and women are not our enemy. Mm -hmm. Our enemies are the bars, the it's drug bar. dealers, yes, the people, it. the That's enticement it. of sin in this world, what kids yes. are seeing in video games. And boy, I tell you, it's just gotten way out of hand. Yeah, you so know, you're and, doing and, right. And, and, and that's the thing. And, and we can't give up. No. Nope. Uh, uh, and uh, it's nothing wrong with uh, even being uh, in the word that I'm going to use, uh, uh, braggadocious about what you're doing. I like but that. But do not uh, forget that we are to come together and work it out and to work together right. in, in unity and, and sometimes we do so many big things that we don't understand there's the little things we can do in our That's own good. city that yes. will make the difference right you know seeing are. where we are you know and, you know we, and I said that uh, in this crusade I wasn't going to uh, invite uh, uh, people who I know is way out and bring them in I said mm. sometimes you just got to use the environment good. because they feel and taste That's the environment good. all all the time. Yeah. And, it's their um, home. You know, it's their yeah, life. Yeah. yeah, it's their home and their life. See how God and, gave you uh, a different vision than he might give another yeah. that 
yeah. is to go somewhere yeah. else. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. There's nothing wrong with that because I've had uh, uh, those who come from from miles around. I had my nephews right. who come from Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah. You know, uh, and you were from uh, Memphis originally? I am from Memphis, I was born Tennessee. in Memphis also, yeah. Praise the Lord. Well, now, what about you've got a son that's in the military? Yeah, he's in the military. In Kentucky. And he's been... Uh, uh, he's been over Afghanistan. In fact, oh. he was shot in Afghanistan. He was. Yes, well, you thank him for us, yes, especially yes, here at the yes, yes, after yes. the Fourth of July was just yeah, over. We yeah, want to make and, sure uh, we thank our service. Uh, he 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 he's doing all right, and we just have to keep our children yes, in prayer because that's right. uh, they are our heart. Yes, sir. And so, but uh, again, I just want you to know that I was a PK kid. Who, okay, now I want to hear who this. Became a prodigal Growing child. I, I, when I left home, I left home not to from really Memphis? worship. Yeah. You were from there. Memphis, I left to to go to college and school, and and said I got to get away from this thing. But but you know, even though I felt like I was Jonas and I took the the boat to Tarsha and instead of going to Nineveh. Now, for people who don't know that, tell yeah, them who yeah. did that. Uh, Jonah did that. Jonah took the boat from Tarsha uh, instead of going to Nineveh, doing what God wanted him to mm -hmm. do. And so, and why did he me, do that? Why did he not go down where God told him to go? Why didn't he not go down? Uh, he was because, too braggadocious. Yeah. <laughs> Those well, people don't, don't deserve that's salvation. Right. That's right. He was sure enough, Brad. He looked his nose down at mm -hmm. them because they were not of him. I love and, that analogy. Uh, he just got to remember that it, even if people are not of you, it doesn't mean God don't want to use them yeah. and don't want to uh, allow you to be a blessing to them. And we should be thrilled that he would it, use us to bring salvation yes, to yes, others. Yes, but yes, somehow, yes. I don't but, know, uh, Jonah. While I was in, in college and then I met my wife, we've been married on, on the 18th. For this of June, we were married 35 years. <gasps> 30, 35 congratulations! Years. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yay! And they said yeah, it wouldn't last, yeah, didn't yeah, they? They said it well. <laughs> they said a lot of things wouldn't be. <laughs> Because uh, I have two brothers and five sisters, oh, and wow. out of all of them, uh, I'm the one that wouldn't have been where I'm at. Isn't and, that? And I thank God that he Did you see the collar as me. being like a yoke? Did you see it as being oh, like, a, oh. like a dog collar? I don't want, I'm not going into yeah. ministry. Well, I, I never saw it like that. It's just I wanted to sow my wild oats. Mm. I wanted to be a disc jockey, and I and was. You were. And you uh, were? Where were uh, you? Uh, I was uh, in Springfield, Illinois, okay. and that's the capital. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, we do. We've been know, playing yeah, capitals yeah, before and, this. Uh, well, so give us a good disc jockey voice. What would you say? What was one of the songs? Let's well, I, I want you to know that the Lord blessed me that uh, while I was pastoring in Carbondale for eight years, I was on the radio station. Yes, that's right. And I would say, W, this is uh, uh, Pastor Haley, WDBX 91.1 FM on the radio station, you know. <laughs> good. Then, yeah, you got uh, the voice for uh, it. Uh, you know, and so when I introduce people, I use my war so disc jockey voice yeah. because uh, I'm excited about who's right. coming on. And, uh, you know, so, so but I But everything's for at, a season, isn't it? Yes, yes, And now yes, that yes. same voice that yes, did this, yes, did yes. that. Well, see, the thing that God showed me was that, you know, I had to go the way I went because... Um, and being a disc jockey, he said, you still are, but you're a disciple of Jesus. I like then, that, DJ. And then, and then DJ, of disciple Jesus. of Jesus. And then I am a proclaimer, but it's proclaimer of the light and not I the darkness. I love it. Because Praise I God. had yes. folks acting a F-O-O-L <laughs> on the dance floor. Oh, yeah. And they did all kinds of things, oh, but yeah. I, never felt, I never felt real comfortable because mm -hmm. God's hand was on me. Right. And I thank the Lord that he didn't give up. He waited mm -hmm. and allowed me to come back and say, Lord, here am I, send me. I remember the day. I remember the hour. I got off the phone mm -hmm. from listening to my mother. My mother said, when you going to get right with oh. God? And I said, Lord, this is the night. She said it for the, that one last time. Wow. And I said, and my wife would tell you, I got on the, 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 the foot of the bed mm. and I cried and said, oh. Lord, here am I, send me. And then I said, Lord, help me because folks are going to pick at me sure. and they're going to look and say, how could you do that? Mm -hmm. And they and I had people come to me and say, you were the DJ, you were good, you were yeah. out there dancing, you were out there giving them a good time. Mm -hmm. How could you walk away from all this? I said, hey, I'm giving the best the message I can give best right now. Time and that's yet Jesus come. Christ, come on. you know, and, 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 and I prayed the prayer that you said earlier. Mm -hmm. I said, Lord, you bless me. I have not lost anything. Mm -hmm. I have my health and my strength and everything. And I said, Lord, help me to be a blessing to somebody else because 
yours. You bless me. I love and it. that's why I've traveled yes. thousands of miles yes. and did many of things and will continue to do many of things. That's right. Because I don't mind the Lord using me mm -hmm. because I know that if it wasn't for the goodness of God and if it had not been for the hand of the Lord that's that right. was laid on me, that I couldn't make it this far. Mm. And he's opened up so many doors, took me so many places. Wow. And I tell you, just a few <laughs> years ago, he had me to be on the same stage with the President of the United States yeah, of America. Yeah, that didn't happen. And I couldn't say, Lord, I didn't do that, you did it. And I'll oh. tell anyone, how did you do that? I said, God did it, God not did it. That's right. but because of what I was uh, uh, going through and God yeah. seeing that, you know, he picked me out. That's right. I didn't pick myself That's out. That's right. And I'm so glad that he picked me out and he chose me and that uh, in the Methodist church that I'm in, we have uh, moved around quite a few times sure. and uh, our pastor in uh, uh, Mounds, Illinois, that's mm -hmm. down by Cairo, Illinois. Okay. And then I've also pastored in Alton, Illinois, which oh, yeah. is up right by St. Louis. St. Louis. Yeah. And then I left from there and pastored in Carbondale, okay. Illinois, and was there at SIU. Uh -huh. And we were part of the team that, that, that I hate to say it, but we, uh, we well, no, I don't. I don't hate to say <laughs> <Okay>. it because <laughs> uh, it was a Halloween party time okay. all the way. But the pastors and the, con and the uh, school got together, and we had to shut it down so that um, they wouldn't, the young folks wouldn't yeah. continue to destroy yeah. the property and the lives. I know. You know, and. And both things happened. And, mm -hmm. and then I was in East St. Louis. Uh, That's a good another, ministry area, oh, let me tell it, you. <laughs> it, really, it really was. And uh, East St. Louis is a different kind of it uh, is. area. Do you know, uh, 50 years ago, East St. Louis was one of the most beautiful, wonderful, sought out areas in the United States. Um, and it's just now, the yeah. Board of Education of Illinois yeah. has taken over the school. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's going to bounce back. It, it just, will. It just, it's going to bounce Get back. The Lord in Maybe there. Maybe not where we can see it right this very minute, but it's bouncing back. That's why we can't I give do. up? No, no, you never give up. And so then uh, I left from East St. Louis, and, and I'm pastoring here. And during all that time, uh, I traveled over two. Two, three, four hundred thousand miles, mm, mm, and mm. then uh, I've been able to uproot and regroup again uh -huh. in another vineyard. And in that same vineyard, I try to carry the same message. It's just you one know, message. because Jesus is the way. He's what is the, the answer. message? Jesus is the answer. You know, you look know, into Jesus. camera three over there Hallelujah. and talk to somebody that yes. just doesn't. Maybe they don't get it. Maybe, maybe you're watching right now and you have been depressed. Maybe you've been scared. Maybe you just think. I don't know if all this stuff is real or not. What do I have to do mm -hmm. to receive Christ? First of all, I'd just like to say that the Lord loves you. Yes. He loves you. He really loves you with all his heart and mind and soul and strength. He, he loved us so that he, he gave his only begotten son for yes. us that we could have a right to the tree of life. And, and I want you to know that no matter what you're going through today or tonight or tomorrow or whenever it may be, that the Lord is there to, to rescue you. He's there. All you have to do is say, Lord, save me. Mm -hmm. uh, send up a SOS uh, signal uh, right. from your heart and from your soul. And he will. He will do it it for you. Now, uh, I know that, that, that you may feel that others have pressed you down, but, but don't let that happen to you anymore. You rise up and say, I'm going to now allow God yes. to be in control of my life. I'm yes. going to say, Lord, not my will, but thy will be done. Right. Thy will be done, and, and, and when we know that His will is being done, uh, uh, then our life is going to turn out so much better. Yes. And so you, you that are listening and watching right now, mm -hmm. uh, if you are not uh, saved, Jesus Christ will uh, surely save you. He will surely, surely save you. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is confess to Him to, and to know that He will save you and that uh, He will be the, the Lord of your life not only save you but he wants to be the Lord of your life he yes. wants to give you strength he wants to to give you joy he wants to to, to give you happiness he he just want to be all that he can for you That's and right. so learn, just trust him or come to Christ while you have the chance mm -hmm. uh, 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 he will not reject you he will not talk about you he will not lie on you all he wants to do is give you a better life and he will and he gave me a better life yes. even though I knew 
uh, and had the foundation, I had to accept those things mm -hmm. and then began to apply them and walk in them. And so remember this, if you don't remember, he wants to use you. Yes. He wants to use you. So just come and uh, allow Christ, allow uh, the word, uh, allow God to use you. And, and uh, I can't promise you sunshine and days all mm -hmm. the time, but I can promise you a victorious life. Amen. That's good, That's yeah, good yeah, preaching. Yeah, I can, I can, well, you I know, can scripture you. says it rains on the just and the unjust alike. Mm -hmm. And that means we get the sunshine on the just and the unjust alike. Yes. The difference is, You'll either be walking that road by yourself yes. and fighting off all of the fiery darts of Satan. Yes. Or you'll have God's power, yes. his protection. Yes, yeah, yeah. So, That's you know, awesome. That's this good. is a blessing. My grandchildren, I love them. And they're going to be a little loud My grandchildren are going to have to be. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But, uh, but I won't I won't do what my what my mama would do to me if uh -huh. I was acting up my mother would take me outside and take care Ooh. of me <laughs> and uh, you know they talk about DCFS and all the other stuff but you <laughs> yeah. know the scripture says spoil the rod you know there spare you the go. child and so you know uh, it's just good to love them that's right but sometimes the correction uh, has to be there in the children's lives and and it didn't kill me it just helped me you know what and that's you know? why God has given you yeah. the power as a grand Father to yes. sow godly seeds into yes. your two beautiful and more. Yeah. You've got more than two. Yeah, How many yes. have you got? We have uh, five grandchildren. Five grandchildren. Uh, our oldest granddaughter is 13, and we thank God for all yeah. of them. But yes. she is uh, very special. She's uh, 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 she's on the presidential, uh, 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 what is it, now president no. for, um, uh, what is academic? the highest? Academic. Oh. Yeah. She's a, what, what's the, Where does what she call live? In? She lives in uh, Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Oh, they're there too. Okay, yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she, oh. she's a straight A student. I told them they got it. She got it from me. But, there you, know, you go. Yeah, yeah. Now she if she had all left, she just said, well, she, she got she, it from she, her grandma. So, so <laughs> she, she made, she's a straight A student. Uh, she made one B this year, all the rest of them A's. What about the and, two that are uh, here? How are their grades? They're great. They're great. Good. Okay. Good too. They're, they're Do you they're think good. God grades us and says, you know, you've been an A kid today. You've been a C kid today. Do you think he does that? God, God grades us, but he grades us with his mercy. And and he shows us and the way grace, to go. Yes. That's what discipling you know, is. It's yeah, yeah. the he, disciples he, are the he, teachers. He, he, he grades us, but thank God he doesn't grade us with the scale that we grade one Amen. another. Amen. Because <laughs> we're putting back up here, yes. folks. It's coming right up, August fifth, sixth, and seventh, seven p.m. This is going to be an awesome summer revival crusade, and look mm -hmm. who's preaching: mm -hmm. Pastor Charles Turnbow. Pastor Kenny Geisendorfer and Pastor Tom Waters, and it's at your church. So let's yes. give a plug. How come you're not on the agenda? Well, uh, you're the it's host? not about me, and, it, and I am the host, yep. and, and so I wanted to really bring in others because the people nice. hear me all the time, oh. and, and, and I understand <laughs> that sometimes they like to hear another voice. But every voice uh, that you can bring in, bear bring witness yes. to the word that that's you've been good. saying. That's and good. And so they, that's one thing they can't run from you yep. know even though you may want someone else to you come got in, it <laughs> they can bear a, a witness and, and I thank God that yes. that his word get 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 uh bear witness to uh it and that way come back void either. and that way they know that uh I'm following Christ amen you know we've only got 30 seconds left but we want to give the phone number out again if folks would like to get in touch with you it's area it's code Two one seven. Yes, two one seven, two two three nine seven one nine, and and uh, um, Sister Peppers, I Reverend Pepper, pa <laughs> Pastor Peppers. I thank God for you, and I, I really thank, thank God the Lord that you. I got a chance to meet you because oh, I saw you on television so oh. often. And sometimes I must tell you, we get the wrong impressions of people. Yeah. Then God shows us the right one. And I'm the real Hallelujah. deal. What yeah. you see is what you get, and that's amen. the way with you yes, too. Yes, amen. To Thanks that. again, yes. brother. And I'm Dr. Yes. Pepper. Shake in the salt. You've been watching Outreach Connection. If you would like to contact this ministry, you may write Outreach Connection, care of CTN, WTJR, 222 North 6th Street, Quincy, Illinois, 6230. This is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. John, chapter 17, verse 3. Today's encouraging word has been brought to you by your friends at the Christian Television Network.
promise is a